Yeah, that's my theme. Oh, I envy turtles. They can curl their soft, vulnerable bodies into their hard shells where none of life's sharp edges can harm them. Oh, what a life. But, 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 Libby, this is your special day. You deserve a fountain and a DJ and a celebrity chef. Oh, Molly, I, I mean, sure, all that stuff might be nice, but I'm just happy you're here. Oh, I need to prep the turtles for the turtle races. But after that, you and me, we are going to party into the night. Mm. Still needs one final touch. There you go, bats. Go, Mitzvah. Oh, boy. No, Scratch. This is the most important day of Libby's life, and nothing is going to ruin it for her. Oh, good. You did invite your school friends. I didn't. Um, Molly, where did all these people come from? Hey, Mazel Tov, Libby. Isn't it great? They're all here for you. Be the turtle, Libby. Go to your happy place. Hey, this is a turtle party, isn't it? So come out of that shell, Libby. Ugh, I knew that turtle metaphor would come back to haunt me. Look around. Even Libby's not enjoying this party. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'm on it. Hey, who's ready for the horror? Um, heights and being tossed around are two of my biggest anxieties. Can't we just do the turtle races? Oh, of course we can. Right after the horror. It's the moment you've all been waiting for, that age-old tradition, the horror! Give it up for the woman of the hour, Libby Stein Torres! She's probably just being shy. Just one moment. Libby, what are you doing back here? You're missing your special day. Molly, you keep saying it's my special day, but it doesn't feel like my day at all. I didn't want a big party. I didn't want all these people. You've turned this party into what you thought I wanted. Oh, so what was it that you wanted? To spend time with you! Oh, sorry, it's the hormones, but the feelings are accurate. Oh, <gasps> it finally happened. I'm a woman. You know, I feel different. Do I look taller to you? I'm sorry, Libby, but I'm going to fix this. Then I promise I am yours for the rest of the night. I'm not even touching the door. <sighs> oh! The bat mitzvah! Ah! Oh, they're turning on me! Ow! Oh, Ooh, you ungrateful bat! That's the wrong thing for you! Stop! Go, Go Simon! Shelly! You, you can do this! Shelly, yeah, come on! You gotta believe! Yeah! Yeah, go! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 Now this is the perfect party. Sorry I almost ruined your special day, Libby. Oh, it's okay, Molly. I've learned a lot in the minutes since I became a woman. Like how we're all responsible for our own happiness. It felt good to stand up for what I wanted today. Wow, you're so wise. Wonder when I'll become a woman. <sighs> Enjoy what's left of your childhood, Molly. It'll be over before you know it. Yes, there's way more of them than we ordered! Ah, ah. It's nice to be nice. How are we gonna get over that? I love it, McGee! Always wanted to take that smug, perfect board down a peg or two. All we need is a festival that will draw a crowd. <laughs> Talk about dead in the water! Well, poor word choice. Sure, we haven't been able to fund Turnip Fest in decades, but back in the day, it was a real hit. Right, Goldie? Oh, sorry. Assistant Mayor Goldie? Bloop, 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 bloop. Excuse me, Mr. Mayor, but we can't beat Perfect Borg with turnips. Yeah, turnips are just potatoes that went horribly, horribly wrong. I will have no anti-turnip talk in this office, McGee. <gasps> I knew you would. You're my smartest advisor. 
We could start out with the super happy picnic at the park, then hit up the aquarium and watch him feed his shark. <laughs> Molly, get back! It's not safe. We've got a bee in our home. Uh, so you're antagonizing it with the broom? Oh. <laughs> you got a better. Scratch! You caught the bee! Can you please release him outside? Can I release the bee outside? Hmm. No! So far, I'm loving this curse. The bee has summoned his form! Set yourself! Hello, my favorite grandson. What's going on? Nothing much, Grandma Nin. Just hiding from a swarm of bees in the house. Bees? Oh, don't worry. Dad'll squash him or die trying. Ah! Put your mother on. You cannot hurt bees. They are good luck. But Mom, they're attacking Pete. That is Peter's problem. No hurting bees. Oh, they're everywhere. Ah! And Mickey slip past the wet cardboard boxes. Why are they wet? He won't ask. She's making progress on the far turn on the heads and hit. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Wow. I'm really starting to regret this whole curse. <coughs> Same. It sure would be nice to say the opposite of yes right now. Mr. Weird? Or is it Larry? I don't know. But I did find your skunk. That ain't Vera. Looks feral. <coughs> Ooh, okay. Well, uh, I tried. Wait! Aren't you gonna help me find my Vera? No! Ha! That feels good! Okay. We all agree that pushing the bees out with air won't give us bad luck, right? As long as you do not hurt them. Open the window. It's working! Uh-oh. This really escalated while we were gone. Come on, we have to help! Hey, Scratch. Buddy. Can you please eat all the bees? Eat all the... Uh, I guess I had this coming. Okay, if I'm suffering, so are you. Hey, Molly, can you not herd the bees together for me? A double negative, huh? Then no! Perfect! Finally, we figured out a good use for this curse. Not happy about eating bees, though. Do you work, bees? You can't sing again. Okay, let me think. I guess you can. How can we ever repay you? Don't ask us any questions until tomorrow! The ghost and Molly McGee!